Yo, twin. What? Do you know a Tom Collins? Mm, no, why? Apparently knows you. He's at a cocktail bar down the street and he's talking trash about you. What the hell? What you talking about? I think you should go talk to him. The, of course. Damn it. You guys wondering why I did that? Well, first, it's funny, but also it's because we're making the Tom Collins cocktail today, a drink with a confusing history about where it got its name. Some people believe that it's because of an oaks that happened in New York City in 1874 that consisted in the exact same thing as I did to my twin. But there's another theory, which I believe is the true one. So today we're gonna clear this up and we're gonna make two different Tom Collins with little differences. Both are delicious, it's a crowd-pleasing cocktail. I'm sure you're gonna love them. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. So in 1874, the great Tom Collins Oaks took New York City by storm. Apparently, it was very popular at that time to make someone believe that a Tom Collins was talking trash about him in another bar. So that person was going from bar to bar trying to find that Tom Collins and pick up a fight with him. And because the Tom Collins cocktail was very popular at that time, a lot of people believe that the drink got its name from the Tom Collins Oaks. I believe it's the other way around. Probably the Oaks got its name from a drink that was already popular during that period of time. And also there's another story that predates that Oaks from several years that makes more sense and I believe it's the true one. At the turn of the 19th century in London, a guy by the name of John Collins, head waiter at the Limmer's Old House, created a cocktail called the John Collins after his own name. It was a riff on a gin punch and it consisted in Jennifer, lemon juice, sugar and sparkling water. We believe that in 1869, the cocktail started to be made with Old Time Gin instead of Geneva, but it kept the name the John Collins. We had to wait until 1876 for the oldest mention of that drink with Old Time Gin to be called after the gin the Tom Collins. At the end of the 1800s, the Old Time Gin had almost completely vanished, so the London Dry Gin became the go-to for this cocktail. But at the beginning of the 21st century, because of the cocktail renaissance, a lot of distilleries tried to restart the production of Old Time Gin. That means that now we can make this cocktail with both styles of gins, which is even more confusing. So, what gin should we use? The Old Time Gin is an old style of gin that was made back to when the distillation process was really weak. So in order to get something that was drinkable, they were adding sugar and other flavors to the gin after the distillation. On the other end, the London Dry Gin arrived at a time where the distillation process got much better. So there were no need anymore to add sugar or other flavors after the distillation because the alcohol was much easier to drink. But nowadays, the Old Tom is distilled the same way the London Dry Gin is, so we don't have to add as much sugar in it. But it is still characterized by a very flavorful gin, packed with botanicals and a hint of sweetness. So let's make two Tom Collins side by side with both styles of gins. For the ingredients, we're gonna need first, London Dry Gin, simple syrup, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and sparkling water. For the second one, we're simply gonna take out the London Dry and replace it by Old Tom Gin. So today I'm gonna to build both cocktails right into the glass. Traditionally, this is how Tom Collins were made, but in order to be delicious, this cocktail needs to be very cold. So if you build them right into the glass, I recommend you use cracked ice or smaller cubes of ice. If you wanna use the big spear of clear ice, I recommend you give a little whip shake to your cocktail, which means to shake it a few seconds with one cube of ice. That's gonna incorporate all the ingredients together, it's gonna to chill it a little bit, but it's not gonna over dilute the cocktail, which is very important because Keep in mind, we're gonna flood that with a little bit of sparkling water. So first step, we're gonna add our gin into our glass. So we're gonna start with two ounces or 60 ml of London Dry Gin in one glass. And two ounces or 60 ml of Old Town in the other one. Next, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of simple syrup. in each glass, and one full ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Mm. 
A lot of people believe that because old time gins are sweetened gin, you should lower the amount of sugar in your cocktail. I don't think it's true anymore. I think it was back to when old time gins were really heavy on the sugar, but nowadays modern old times contain only two to nine percent of added sugar, which I don't believe is enough to mess with the balance of your cocktail. That being said, if you have a very tart or dry palate, you do you, but I think this is perfectly balanced as is. So now what we have to do is to add cracked ice all the way to the top of our glass. And we're gonna top it up with two ounces or 60 ml of sparkling water. I always like to jigger and measure my mixers because I wanna keep the balance in my cocktail. So two ounces or 60 ml of sparkling water in each. I'm gonna add a little cube of ice here. Voila. With a bar spoon, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna express some lemon oil over the cocktails. And we're gonna garnish them with a cherry and a lemon wheel. And there we go, this is how we make the Tom Collins. So now let's give them a try. Hmm, that's good. Hmm, also very good. So both are extremely delicious and very refreshing. I think it's the perfect balance between sweetness and tartness. And after trying the one with the old time, I confirm there's no need to readjust the ratios with the sweetness. I think it is perfectly balanced like that. In terms of taste, I would say that the one with the London Dry leaves a little more space to the citrus and the lemon, while the one with the Old Time leaves more space to the botanicals and the juniper. It is still very refreshing, but it's more aromatic, and I really, really enjoy it. I think it is very interesting to get more familiar with that style of gin, especially because it was used in so many classic cocktails. So if you can't put your hands on a bottle of good old time gin, I highly recommend you do it and try it in all the classic cocktails and even in some creations of your own because it is a delicious gin. So guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. No, no, the other bar. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, he's there. Go, 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 go.